Okay, how to diagnose a leaking valve, a valve seat. Then I'm going to show you how to repair it. Okay, first of all, this right here. We're repairing the exhaust, I'm sorry, the intake uh, valve and seat. But first I want to show you how to diagnose it to see if the seat is seating improperly. Uh, we're going to use this, simple, water and soap. Same stuff you use to uh, check uh, uh, nails and leaks and tires. That's what we're going to use here. So, first, we want to put some of this soap in here. Soap and water. Get that all in there. Nice puddle. See, it may look like it's sealed right now, but actually it's not. <clears throat> so, I'm going to grab the air nozzle here. And I'm going to go from the back underneath. Oh, you can't even see that. But anyways, I'm going to go from underneath here. I'm checking this one right here. Right there. And yeah, watch this. See how we got, uh, see how we got air bubbles? No good. Not at all. That thing should be sealed nice and tight. But it's not. Obviously, it's not. So... Since it's not sealed tight, we're going to grind them right now. What we're going to grind them with is this. We're going to grind them with this stuff right here. Valve grinding compound. You can get that from AutoZone or uh, Cragen or O'Reilly or Pet Boys or whatever. I'll go pick some of this stuff up. And also, we're going to use this here. Vacuum hose, the drill bit on the end of it, and the drill. Okay? Let me show you. It's not hard at all. What you do is you hook up the what's that? Hook up the vacuum hose to the end of the uh, valve, and you're gonna spin it like that. See that? But you're gonna spin it while it's in there. So right now I'm gonna put it inside the uh, back inside the cylinder head. Well, I'm going to take this valve off right here, the one in here, then I'm going to grind it and I'm going to show you what the deal is. I'm going to show you how to hook it up to the vacuum hose and grind that bad boy with this valve grinding compound. Ready? Here we go. Let's do this. Okay, next step is to take out the uh, valve, valve keepers, valve retainers, and valve spring. Okay, so what you do... Push this bad boy down like that. Let me hook this up in there. Okay. Keep us. Okay. Now, push this bad boy. the valve spring and uh bad boy here okay put that down there now pull this off to the side here the bad boy out pop this out there's the valve right there so now we gonna pull this bad boy off here show you what's up here. Now, which one was it? It was this one right here. Okay? This one went in here. This valve went in here. And that is the one that we are going to grind right now. Okay? So, I'm going to grind this valve right here. And this valve seat. These are the valve seats right here. Put the light on this one. Okay, valve seats right here. And these are valve seats right here. This is the valve. Well, some of you should be familiar with this, but uh, we're going to grind this here with that at the same time with that compound. Okay? So, here we go. Let's do it. Okay, now. This right here, that's the one we were checking out earlier. That's the one that had the bubbles in it. 
that's all. Now we're going to grind it. That, remember this stuff? We're going to use this. The valve grinding compound. Yep, that's what you're going to do your own valves with. Okay? So we'll set that there. I already put a little bit on the valve here. See? See this valve? Okay, so what you want to do is you want to rub a little bit all on the edges. You're going to do this a few times, okay, in order to get a good valve seat and so that the face in this valve is really, really grinded into the uh, seat really good, okay? Then, <clears throat> you need oil, okay? So what you're going to do now is you're going to put oil <clears throat> on that bad boy. You know your valve, uh, your valve guides aren't used to spinning things. Your valve, uh, your valve never spins in there really. Well, it does, but barely. Oh, you know what? Don't get that. The rub, the compound. Don't get the compound on this area. Make sure it stays clean. Oh man, I almost got it on there. But uh, make sure that you wipe very good. <clears throat> Use a clean rag for this bad boy. Okay. Okay, what you want to do is you want to <clears throat> rub the oil on the valve stem. Make sure you don't have any of that grit on there, that rough grit. <clears throat> then put it inside the uh, valve guide. Put it back in. Okay. So you're going to put the bad boy in there. Like that. Hold on for a sec. Put the bad boy in there, right? Now, I'm going to take you over here. Okay. Then, you're going to see the valve come out, right? Put a lot over here more, a little bit more. You're going to see the valve pop out, okay? Oh, yeah, here. So, see that? Yeah, you see the valve there? Want that bad boy coming out just like that, okay? Next, you're gonna get the uh, a vacuum hose. Put a little slit on the end of it right here. See that slit there? See if you can see it. Anyways, you're gonna put a little slit in there. You're gonna slip it on the end of the uh, valve all right just like this and at the same time you're gonna hold the valve on the other side all right you want to hold that bad boy try to move this a little you're gonna slip this in the end of the valve like that you down there nice and snug Get it lined up real nice. I got it kind of loose, but you get the idea. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna do it like that. Let me show you the drill. Okay, I'm going back and forth, little by little, like that, in and out. Keep the bad boy lined up straight, too, okay? All right. show you how it looks on the other side okay <clears throat> remember I got this bad boy lined up pretty straight right there okay and as you're spinning the valve look at the valve real good it's going in and out okay so I already rubbed off the uh, the compound so <clears throat> What I'll do is I'll put a little more compound. Just put a drop like that. <clears throat> slowly put it on, slowly move. That bad boy grinding on there. That's what you want, just like that. Mm. 
listen to it. I'll be keeping this straight. Now, I'm going to go backwards, okay? I'm going to back it up. Go the other way. Listen to the difference. You can hear the different sound in it. I don't like the way I got my vacuum hose hooked up on this one. But uh, we'll keep running with it, okay? Now, one more time. Let's put some more compound on that bad boy. Get it up on there. <clears throat> Notice I'm not going too fast with the RPMs. I'm trying to keep it at a decent speed. You don't got to go 100 or 1200 RPMs. Your hands can't even do that with the uh, the other way, with the other valve grinding method. I just go with this. I'm pulling tight. As I'm going in at every once in a while, I'm going pretty tight. Now I'm going to go back the other way. Okay? I'm usually listening for the sound also, okay? When it sounds pretty good, like it's cheating really good, you pretty much finish. Okay. See? See how it looks from this side. Go back and forth. Keeping it straight. Now, let's go backwards one more time, okay? That's pretty much done right there. Let's go with that, okay? Now we're going to pull it off. Check to see if that bad boy is sealing better. And it should. Usually it works. Most of the time. Yep, 99% of the times it works. Okay, let's take it apart. Put it back together. Let's see. I'll show you that that's how you fix your valves. Ready? Okay. Let me show you the difference in what we just did. Um, the difference in um, the old valve compared to the new valve. Okay, the one on the left. This is the old valve here. See how that one looks? Let's see if I can focus in on that. See how that is? Let's see. Let's bring it up here. See how that one is right there? That one's old. Beat up. Some of these are pitted a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that. But, uh, that one looks horrible. Now, let's check the new one. Not the new one, but the one we just grinded. See the difference? Look how smooth that edge is. See that? <clears throat> You see it like this. Mm. Look how smooth that is. Now compare that to the old one. Old one, no grinding one. Look at the big difference. Big difference, huh? And that is how you grind your own valves at home with. At home with a vacuum hose and this stuff. Make sure you keep all your stuff organized, okay? Don't get all sloppy and start losing stuff, or else you're gonna screw it all up. Then you're gonna be lost. Um, now, look at the uh, look at the old. <clears throat> this is the old seat. Let me see if you can see that. Old seat, new seat. This is the one we just grinded right right there. That's the one we just grinded with the compound. Mm, let's see if you can see that. Big difference. Move the light around. Big difference. Big time. 
Old one? No one. Old one? No one. Old valve? New valve. Big difference, huh? And that's how you do it. Now let's put this bad boy back together. We're gonna slap this back in here. I'm gonna put it back together and I'll be right back. And we're gonna test it to see if uh, the bad boy is sealing right, okay? This one right here. And it should be good, 100%. It should be no air coming from the backside when I shoot air behind it, okay? Let's check it right now. Let me put it back together and I'll get back with you, okay? Okay, we just grinded the valve. Finished up with it, okay? The one that was leaking was right there. That one right there, okay? Grinded it with the uh, valve grinding comp compound. Now, test. Let's test it out. Soap and water. For all of you who know about soap and water and tires, that's what you use to check tires <clears throat> with nails in them to see if uh, you detect leaks. Here we go right here. I'm hitting it right from behind. Ready? Let's do this. Come from above. I'm hitting it right from behind. It's all good. Look at that. No leaks at all. No bubbles. And that's hitting it hard right there. I got the nozzle right behind it. And that's what you want. That's what you want right there. You see? And that is how you fix your own valves and valve seats. Okay? And it's that simple. You don't have to take it to a machine shop. You can do it at home with a uh, vacuum hose and a drill. You can even use the, uh, let me see. I usually use this bad boy right here, but I don't like to anymore. I like to use a drill, you know? It drills faster and it works more efficient. But uh, you can use that if you want, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, that's how, there you have it though. That's how you fix your own valves, your valve seats, leaking valve seats. With a simple little tool like that. And go out there and handle it, man. That's simple. All right? Go get it.